Hello everyone and welcome back to more Toast Detective. We are on the second season. We finished season one in the last episode, so if you missed that, go back and check it out or else I'll never be friends with you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but Milady. If you wish to accept a case, use the telephone. Okay. Well I didn't forget, so that that thought bubble's a lie. Where are you going? I'm no android, milady. I must rest from time to time. Now if you'll excuse me. So, yes. We gotta use the telephone. I knew that already. Mackenzie, girl, don't put things in my mouth. So, as you can see on the left-hand side, the telephone, it tells us right there. So you need to tell us. There's this trash can, which I'm not going to click, to delete all the data. And if you exit outside, there's a bonus stage, which I'll do at the end of this project. Because the bonus stage, essentially... Helps us 100% complete the game. Stuff we missed, so there you go. So as you can see, we finished episode 1, the robbery, as I call it, called the seasons, because... You know what, what kind of episode's broken with so many dang parts? Not mine, because they're into episodes, so there you go. So we're going to enter episode 2, Disappearance, the truth hidden in the cosmos. I just have to say, that music is really pretty. <laughs> Your team, lady. Thank you, Cromwell. You should get ever tired of saying that. I'm just gonna be real right now. It's cold. What? Oh, is that right? Do accept my apologies, my lady. Yeah, I think he did do that on purpose. Let, let's just be real. Uh, Cromwell, he's a little bit stupid. <laughs> this may be of help. But, what is that? This, oh, this is. The Red Dragon Teapot. It is my latest invention. You simply pour your cold tea into the pot and push here. <laughs> Poor Fungi. Here you are, my lady. Whoa, wait a minute, I'm supposed to drink this? Yes, you are, girl. It's okay, you're not real. Well, what do you think? It's pretty good, actually. Indeed, indeed. Now, please bring it here, my lady. I don't want this. Wait, did I read that wrong? But whatever. But please help yourself to whatever you like. Oh, that must be a client. Who could it be? Oh, hello, Madame Beatrice. Oh, no. <clears throat> Gotta prepare my, my special voice for Beatrice. I have something I'd like to discuss with Mackenzie. Ha 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 ha! That's wonderful. Please come in and have a seat. Here you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mm, that's quite good. <laughs> oh, Beatrice, you silly girl. Ah. Oh. What have you done? Hmm? Oh dear, what is the matter? Don't worry, he always just... He just wanted to show up as a... Of course, Cromwell. Well, Beatrice, she's a duck, so don't expect too much. I say, interesting. Yep, this is a thrilling conversation. Right, well, I came to talk to you about Penelope. Penelope? What's wrong? <laughs> I think Mackenzie, after the last case, is pretty tired of M Penelope. Uh, let's just be real. She's gone missing. Again. What? I'm missing again? Come on. I'm sure she's a it'll be okay. She's known to wander off. Well, this, this is not concerning. Yes, it's true, she often vanishes without a word. But this time it's different. I have an uneasy feeling. 
Like a woman's intuition? Uh, I don't have that. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. First of all, Mackenzie doesn't have that either because she's a girl. Second of all, I'm voicing this and I'm a boy, so... Maybe I'll ask my sister later if she has women's intuition. I'll look for her. Right, thank you, Mackenzie. Wah, 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 wah. This case is mine, Mac! Leave it to me! And my brilliant mind! Hacha! Let's think about this. That's a new one. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Mac could wish to be some lunatic pulling a prank. Perhaps someone off his medication. I've seen her rehearsing after school. My condolences. Or it could be some thugs looking for ransom money. Oh, I love Mackenzie. She's so she's so sny in her fucks. My goodness, she's just like me. Her parents are loaded, you know. And I'm sure they have many enemies around town. Being rich is such a curse. <laughs> What's wrong with Beatrice? What's wrong? You look pale. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Chloe is here. I'll crack this case, I promise. Meanwhile, Mackenzie is just utterly confused, as, I'm, as I am I, and I'm reading this. Okay. And when my work is done, I'll own the detective op- Excuse me, we live here. <laughs> Forget about it, Chloe. <laughs> How rude. Well then, TF- TTFN. Ta-ta for now. That is not gonna catch on. Fetch is not gonna catch on. Zoom! Um... Okay. Maybe I can help. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to ask you quite some questions about Penelope. Uh, where did she go? Uh, yes, let's just solve this case right away. Where did she go? If you tell me, then we're done. <laughs> She went to school as usual, but she never returned. Was there anything unusual? No, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh... What do you think about her? What kind of girl is she? Well, she's very impulsive. When in a while, she just vanishes. She always is causing a fuss. But this time is different. Why? I don't know, I just feel it. We already asked this. Have you checked her room? That's a good thing. Why, of course I did. I thought she might be sick. May I inspect it? Yes, you may. Here, you can use this. Do you find her, Mackenzie? We're all counting on you. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, God. So we have Mackenzie's key. Room 102. Look at that. Just very generic. Let's get out of here, Fungi. Because I'm tired of this. So obviously she lives in the condominium, not my office. Which Chloe is trying to steal, so... The most obvious thing is to go to Penelope's room because we have the key. There's no answer. Oh. Well, you gotta use your key, silly. It's not what. What? <gasps> oh my god, what the heck? Oh no! A photo album, this should come in hand. So someone has raided. Look at this mess! They stole her banana! Was the suspect angry? Look at this, her banana is missing. This one was fine, but you know. So we just gotta find every single thing that's in this room. Did the suspect use this? A handkerchief? It may be the suspects. So. We. Okay, we're gonna touch that. Good. We gotta find every single thing in this room. I don't know how much there is. Is this an item? Is this on an item on the table? What's this? The budge is- the edge is bumpy. I kinda like it. Oh. Well, Mackenzie. Uh, I won't question. So, we found a photo album from Penelope's childhood. We found this handkerchief. <laughs> the culprit's face. That- that'd be cool. And an order slip. From Sweet Mountain. Penelope for- Penelope forgot her order, this is very ser- Kids have their priorities straight, don't they? So I think that's all we need from there. Talk to Beatrice about what happened, because that's no good. A, a woman's room is very precious to her. So, have you found any clues? Yes, follow me. Oh dear, what happened here? What did you do, Mackenzie? I don't know, I just got- I don't know, I just got- 
just rubbing off on Mackenzie. Yes, something happened. Good luck investigating. Um, thanks. Tch, the window needs to be replaced. I should really set the uh, security alarm. Well, gosh dang it. What a great manager. You know, I don't think that's... Let's talk to your neighbor. I'm sure she would have heard something. Who is it? Um, it's Detective Mackenzie. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Can you come back later? Um, it's about Penelope. Anything unusual happen? I mean, you're your neighbor. Well, I haven't seen her in the last couple of days. Come to think of it, I haven't heard of her either. Is she performing in a play or something? I heard her talking all day long. She's so loud and what she's saying is so strange. It's driving me crazy. What she's saying? She says, here I come, Mr. Flapjack. God, gonna eat ya. Then she says, ah, stop it, not the syrup. Then let's see if you survive the powdered sugar. <laughs> what? Strange, huh? Yes, that's Penelope for you. Oh, what do you think of her? She's so strange. But she's such a sweetheart, so I don't mind. We're just like in awe. It's like, alright. Well, cool. Just a little while ago, I heard the sound of glass breaking in her room. It could be a thief. Shouldn't you check it out? Uh, yes, we already know that, Melanie. Or whatever your name was, Julie something. I don't freaking know. But let's go to the shopping plaza because... You know what, why not? What's this? It's different. Hey, it's a picture of Penelope. Let's take a look, actually. Oh, it's so cute! Look at that! Oh, uh, the little hearts and flowers and stuff. Oh, Penelope and cake. And there's Chloe. What's up, Chloe? What do you want? I'm very busy. Um... What are you doing? What do you think? I'm trying to look for Penelope. Isn't that what you're supposed to be doing? I am. Oh, whatever. I'm giving all my all to find her, so you should be thanking me. Penelope's room was sacked. You think it had anything to do with her disappear? No, someone just someone just broke into someone's room for the sake of having fun. Uh, I don't think so. You know, you're, you're kind of weird, really. Hey, don't touch my stuff! Wow, you're a little bit rude, aren't you? Touch the cobblestone, I see. This item tries to the touch list. I've been looking for this for a while, but if you saw in the introduction, it Penelope hinted at it. She laughed when she touched it. So let's go to Daisy. Daisy's her upstairs neighbor, so maybe she knows something. Hi, may I help you? Uh, it's about Penelope. What happened to Penelope? She's missing. What? Really? Did you report to the police? No, not yet. Why not? She's missing! Yes, yeah, so that's nothing new. Huh? What do you mean? She disappears and then she just reappears. She's such an airhead. It's different this time. Oh, I see. I guess no one really cares. How's Penelope been lately? Well, she's been pretty quiet lately. But I really didn't give it much thought. I mean, it's Penelope. She could be waking up and saying, I'm not talking today. She's done that, in fact. She didn't talk for a week. Really? Even to herself? Well, she pantomimed to, mimed to herself. She pantomimed to herself. She's madder than a hatter. I know. Wow. Everyone's just so appreciative. Never mind. Uh. Wait, did we say anything? Uh. And... I thought she'd talk about suitable clothing. Been pretty boring around here. Alright. Nothing suitable for me? That's fine. That's fine, Mackenzie. Hey, try the pastry shop. She always get there. Maybe they know something. Thanks. Thanks, Daisy. You're not super s stupid this time around. Hi, I'm Daisy. Now let's... Let's talk to... The lovely... Waitress lady. So, let's talk about Penelope. Penelope? Oh, I haven't seen her for a couple of days. What happened to her? I'm investigating that. Oh, I see. Well, good luck. Got any recommendations, madam? Because I love your cake. How about this? Voila! An Indian strawberry tart. An original pastry, an original pastry, an original pastry. Indian? Don't worry, it's not filled with curry. But I, I wanted some Indian strawberry tart. Uh, excuse me. Does this order slip look familiar to you? 
Well, she never returned to pick this order up, so I sold it to another customer. Sorry. Don't look at me that way. You'll have it tomorrow. Is that alright? Yes, that's fine. What's up, Dover? Huh? Um, about Penelope. Penelope, what are you talking about? Let's pass this handkerchief on to you. That doesn't make sense. How about this? How about this picture? Would you like it? Do you know this girl? Yeah, I know her. Her name was Penelope. <laughs> Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She's like eight. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, Penelope. My Penelope comes here. Your Penelope. Pedo alert. But I haven't seen her today. Or yesterday either. And the day before last. Oh, I saw her then. Oh. <laughs> oh, but not here. Where was it? Oh, blimey. Ludgo, the old cogger Ludgo. Saw it. What's so great about him, huh? I hardly call that a talent. Am I right or am I right? Uh, who, who is he anyways? Who's Ludgo? What, you don't know? You must be joking. Yeah, I'm joking. All right, then. Ludgo's the old codger who that plays the organ grind. I guess that's the guy who signed the introduction, but we don't know that yet. He's always performing in front of the planetarium. Organ grinder? It's a music box about yay big. It's to handle you crank around and around. And the music is plays is bloody awful. Sounds like a cat in heat. Wow, this guy... He's very polite. I heard of it. So, handkerchief? Would you like this? Alright, I guess... I hardly call it a talent. Uh, uh, that's, that's right. It's not a talent. That's what it's all about. So I guess we're going to end it off this episode for now. Uh, join me again a couple of days from now for more such detective because we are in investigating a disappearance. See you guys then.